Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you 4 glitches in Spider-Man Miles Morales that will break your game. Before we get started, I just wanted to thank you all for 3,000 subscribers. We have come a long way and I'm excited to see how this channel continues to grow. Alright, let's get into some glitches. Number 1. Infinite Venom if you're familiar with the channel, you have most likely seen the Infinite Venom glitch. It was the first big video on this channel, so of course, I had to mention it. To do this glitch, you need to do a mission like Emergency Calms Down, where you're given Venom bars to charge up a breaker, except you're not going to do that. Swing around close to the area and get all three bars filled up. Then you're going to want to start boosting yourself up in the air, and then the Venom bars should start refilling themselves. After you get high enough, you should be able to freely roam around the city with unlimited Venom powers. There are no crimes, and you can't do any activities though. You can just boost yourself around the city at high speeds, jump in the air aimlessly until the city disappears, or you could leave the playable area of the game and wander into the unfinished parts of New York City. The choice is yours. This is a super fun glitch to do that will keep you entertained for a long time. Number 2. Floating Glitch This next glitch will allow Miles to float around in the air, which is pretty cool. To pull off this glitch, you will need to do the Infinite Venom glitch and head over to the bridge next to Rikers Island. Make sure you are within the top and the bottom of Rikers. Boost yourself up until you start to float. Now as long as you stick within the length of Rikers and within the confines of the bridge, you're going to float. You can do tricks, make Miles glitch out, and just mess around. It's a lot of fun, and it's another reason to use the Infinite Venom glitch. Number 3. Unlimited Invisibility Glitch This glitch is one of the coolest ones so far. It allows you to be permanently invisible in the open world. Although there are no enemies or activities, or much you can do except for swing around, it's really cool. You can achieve this glitch by loading up a save where you've completed the game, but not the mission memory lane. After you've got that loaded up, head over to where the mission starts. Then, you need to push up on the d-pad and then the triangle button and the touchpad in quick succession. Go to the missions tab and go to the mission called reconnecting. If you're not able to start any missions, try again. The timing of the button presses needs to be spot on, and sometimes it doesn't work. If the mission looks normal, then you need to quit the game and reload the save you just left. If the mission looks blurry and pixelated, you're on the right track. Right when the cutscene starts or just as it's loading, spam up on the d-pad and if you did it right, Miles will show up at the top of the ladder with his invisibility on. Watch the cutscene in its entirety and voila, you have unlimited invisibility. Now this is where things get interesting. Following the original permanent invisibility video I made, I've made some exciting progress. To do this next step, you need to do the same method, but instead of picking memory lane, pick any mission that starts with a cutscene. For example, time to rally. In this mission, you'll be able to explore as invisible miles. Go through the mission and watch the cutscenes. A combat sequence will start and you'll still be invisible. Enemies have no idea where you are, so you can just destroy them and they won't have any idea of what hit them. This is absolutely hilarious and fun to do, and I'm trying to think of a way to get this glitch working in the full game. Sadly, every attempt I've made to get this to work hasn't panned out. I'll give you guys an update as soon as I learn more. Number 4. Meet up with Finn glitch. This glitch is done by doing the underground undercover mission. You will want to do the memory lane glitch without turning yourself invisible. Select the mission underground undercover. If the mission loads and looks normal, quit the game and then load that save back up. If you did it right, you will be miles going down into your apartment and then all of a sudden you will be zoomed across the map to the coffee shop with Finn. The lighting here is weird. You can also manage to have your suit on during this cutscene and you can move the camera. This is super cool. You can even see NPCs walking around. After that scene, Finn and Miles approach Fisk Tower. There's a chance that you and Finn will fall through the ground and die. Pretty funny. If you make it past that, there's a chance that Finn will collapse as soon as you get into the underground. Well, I guess the game's over, the villain's dead. Overall, this is a super fun glitch to do. There are so many more glitches in this game, but I just wanted to share a few of my favorites. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and check out this playlist of other Spider-Man videos I've made. Have a good one.